What is going on, Ignite Faith family? It's Curtis here with another hot shot. And I just want to encourage everyone right now in this time to start establishing yourself in his word, in God's word, in the words of Jesus, in his examples, in his activities, in the things that he said and how he said them, in the things that he did and how he did them. It's time for us as a church to stop relying on the pastors to hold our hands through our walk of faith. It's time for us as a people to stop relying on people and their accomplishments to feel good about ourselves. It's time for us as a people to stop thinking that it's someone else who's going to do the things that we want to be seen done. It's time for us as a people to start taking the righteous responsibility that God gave us to start acting out and continuing to push back against the things of the world. As the world continues to try to constrict the throat of the church, it's time for the church to time to take those hands off and it's time for us to start choking out the things of the world that are encroaching on our righteous lives, on our spiritual lives. You know, all of the entertainment, all of the music, all the established things that are, you know, perceived good but are actually moving against us because they're taking away time from our reading. They're taking away time from our prayer life. They're taking away time from our family lives and from our worship lives and from our praise lives. Let's, as a people, let's establish a new covenant with God where we're saying God we're going to pray more we're going to worship more we're going to read more we're going to walk more in your ways we're going to go to church on a, on a, and not just on a religious you know spectrum but on a on going to church to learn so that we can be better so that we can be more established in you God so that it says it says in in a verse that I am with you and you are with me and because of that, we are able to do greater things. We're able to do more things. We're able to do, we're able to break through the standard of what the world's told us we should be to become the standard of what God designed us to be. So I'm just encouraging you guys to find an establishment, find a word of faith church, find a house, find a teacher, and then be encouraged, be encouraged to go out and tell people about it. And not just go out and tell people about it, but to invite them in to your fold. Invite them in to your walk. Invite them in to your uh, 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 covenant with God so that they can find their own selves. They can that they can be established within a covenant themselves so that they can read and pray and worship and praise and be blessed like we are all being blessed. So I'm just encouraging that activity. I'm encouraging that movement. I'm encouraging that revival today because we need it as a country we need it we have suffered long enough we have been through the tyranny long enough we have been giving up so much ground to the enemy it's time to start taking it back god did not call us to take a political side he did not call us to take a racial side he did not call us to take whatever side that you can think of a good side or an evil side god called us to take over all of it the church is supposed to be the established government we are supposed to be the ones that are leading the people. And because we have let go of that responsibility, we are now responsible for bringing ourselves back into the fold. We are responsible for bringing our cities, our families, our neighborhoods, our country back into the fold. It's on the church. We got to stop thinking that God's going to come back and do it for us. Jesus has already done it. He's not coming back to do it for us. But he said that he's sending someone, the Holy Spirit, to work through us. God doesn't want, to, want us to do it by ourselves. And he doesn't want us thinking he's going to do it by himself. But he wants us working in alignment with him so that he can work through us to awaken the nations, the people, the established authorities to take back all the principalities to take back all the powers to take back all the rules to take back all the territory that has been stolen from us so i'm just encouraging you guys this has been in a night faith hot shot curtis i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out